blurry. There we go. It's <laughs> the least satisfying thing on the planet. <laughs> Never doing that again. Hi there. <laughs> you decided to come back to my channel, which sounds great. Thank you for that support. So I decided today to make a cookie rendition of one of my favorite candy bars. I love Twix and I decided to make a Twix cookie which will be shortbread, a layer of caramel, and a layer of chocolate. I don't, has anyone really seen that Twix are now labeled like two left and two right? And is it bad that I was standing in the grocery store being like, well, are the right ones better or the left ones better? So to start off, we're going to start off with our Shortbread, sorry, I have caramel in my throat now. Ow. <laughs> All right, so to start off, we're gonna start off with two cups of flour, and then I have a cup of softened butter. This is gross. This is the most unsatisfying video you can ever click on. Don't click on this video again. <laughs> a half a cup of confectioner sugar. We have a teaspoon of vanilla. This is literally the easiest cookie recipe you could actually get. It has only four ingredients in it. But then what I like to do first is I like to start off whisking it because the thing with this cookie recipe is that it looks really grainy at first. Um, and then it actually forms into a dough. You just have to kind of and while I'm eating this, I might as well tell you a story. So this cookie recipe, fun fact, is um, an award-winning cookie recipe by yours truly. When I was six, I was in, I used to be in Girl Scouts, and basically we had this like cookie competition in our troop, and whoever won the cookie competition got to like go to the whole like cookie competition against all of the Girl Scouts in the county. I won with this cookie recipe. So we, I was against a lot of girls and I was against girls older than me too and I ended up winning first place out of all of the girls in the county. Um, what? <laughs> I was in the paper and everything. I'm very proud of it. So I think what we need to do is these cookies need to be thick. So I usually just will keep going till God, I just, I literally could make a Twix. Don't you then just have to make a log? And then just put the caramel on top of it. And then put the, you know. I'm not even going to pretend that I just had that realization just now. Damn. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, but oh my God, that's hot. So we're gonna take our cookies and we are gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. And those are gonna go in for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna get one of my cookies. Take a spoonful. This is gonna go so bad. Ooh, that was not. And then just spread it because you just want a layer, but you want a thick enough layer that it's actually on there. Like that's why I wouldn't suggest to just kind of dip it on. Oh wow, it's working! I'm very proud of myself. I hate making things with caramel, um, and some people love it because caramel is a real pain in the ass. Okay, so I have about a cup, I want to say, of chocolate, milk chocolate melted. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my chocolate, take a spoonful. Also, by the way, I waited for the caramel to cool like about 20 minutes until like if you touch it, it's firm. There we go. And then we got some chocolate up in here. Yes! I mean, like, who would not like this? Tell me. Just tell me. Just name a couple people, cause that's ridiculous. That's so good. Does it taste like a Twix? 
kind of. I taste the shortbread cookie more than anything. I give these a solid eight out of 10. If you like this video though, and you wanna see some more from me, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and also click the bell next to the subscribe button so then you can be notified anytime I come out with a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Happy. All right. That's my channel right now. <laughs>